Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just being asked if I can show somebody how my gypsy filler is getting on. And I'm really glad they asked me because these have been on the top shelf, which is up there, which I cannot actually see the top of the plants because it's like a foot and a bit above my head. So I just water them in this tray and the capillary matting helps keep them watered. So I've not been checking on them as I should have done. And it's a good job that they, um, they asked me to show you how many are getting on and what they should look like. Well, hopefully theirs don't look as bad as mine do because I have, you can just see here, try and get a little close up. I have a really bad case of green fly and white fly all over them. As you can see, the state of them here is absolutely terrible. Look how bad they, those are. So, I'm going to give them a spray. Hopefully, don't, it doesn't kill them. Hopefully, it kills anything on top there. As you can see, they've also been overwatered with them being on the top. So that's where all the moisture goes. So, lesson learnt when you've got high things are high up, check them down more regularly to check on them. My, my own fault. So, I shall mix some feed up, uh, some fungus fighter, pump killer, sorry, which is, show you. I shall be using some of this Bayer Garden provider ultimate bug killer kills black fly, caterpillars, green fly, white fly, and lily beetle. Really good stuff this. I'll mix some of this up and give it a spray. And then hopefully we shall see over the next day or so. Hopefully they've done a really good job on there. So I'll get some mixed up. Right, I've got some mixed up now, so hopefully just give them a nice spray so it's running off the uh, leaves. Alright, if the top stayed on. When you've used this, make sure you wash your hands properly, you don't want to get poisoned. I want to get on there. Oh, that's that done. Yep. I spray there. These little cornflowers have a few little green flies on them. And then, see what we've got up here once we've sprayed those. Yeah, there have a few on them as well. And look in here. So we're covered in a really good spray. No way it's not one that. And what do we have here? Just in here. Yeah, it's nice. That's about it then. I should just give these agastanches a spray as well while we're here. And just go back over my gypsophilia. And that's it. That's basically how to make up and treat your gypsophilia for green fly and white fly. Like I said, I must do better. I must keep a better eye on things at the top. Because if you don't, you end up with terrible things like I've just... I mean, it took me several weeks to get them to this stage, and then by leaving them, you know, they'll be alright on the top there as long as I keep them watered. So I managed to overwater them and allow them to get infected with green fly and white fly. So, not happy at all today, but hopefully it's not too bad, and hopefully they will recover. So I'm going to get some of this spray off my hands. Just spill a load on there. Poison yourself. Yeah, and thank you very much for watching, everybody. Say goodbye, monkey. Goodbye, Paul. And as always, happy sewing, happy growing. Please keep safe, and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you want further catch ups, please subscribe and like. Thank you very much, everybody, and goodbye. Thank you.